So Riley Smucker going to come out for CSU and fifth-year senior Cade Bylin for the Golden Flashes. So Smucker, the App State transfer, Appalachian State in Smithville, Ohio. Bylin, so he is from Salem. 16-13 dual score lead right now for CSU. So if Bylin's able to win here, by major tech pin, Kent State wins the duel. If Smucker wins, it's a 19-13 duel win for Cleveland State University over Kent State. So Kent State asking a lot out of the fifth-year senior. Shot violin. Foot got it. Smucker rushes through the position. He's going to set the corner on him. Now Bylin. Not in great position. And Bylin has his foot. Kind of laced across his two Smucker. And now Bylin still has his foot. And Smucker got to hope for a stalemate here. As Bylin reaching back. Not able to do anything with it. And he does not need a stalemate. Bylan does have his foot still. Smucker, 2-0 lead. Quad pod now for Bylan. And Smucker, claw riding on top, doing what he needs to do, trying to roll him through, trying to get some near falls. And Bylan got his other foot now. Bylan's trying to swim through here and like catch him. Kind of like a, almost like some funk, reach back funk stuff. Smucker got to get his foot back. Good job by Smucker. Now he's got that one-on-one -on -one ride on the left side. 102 in his ride time's up over a minute. Could have Bylan in some trouble here looking claw tilt there. The old side saddle ride here. Doing a nice job here on top. Riley Smucker trying to close this duel out for CSU. Kent State calling for a stalemate. CSU's riding him hard here, 33 seconds left. And Bylan tries to roll. Smucker stays solid on top. 25 seconds left here. The ride time at 140 and climbing for Riley Smucker. Not falling for any rolls here. And it was off a of violent shot, oddly enough. And it is going to be 10 seconds left here. The ride time is going to be up over two minutes for Riley Smucker, and he is in the driver's seat against Cade Bylan here in senior night in Ken, Ohio. His team up 16-13 right now. So again, match is brought to the defensive, defensive, defense, which are built. My guys at Barbara and Apparel, Josh Sasky. Choice. Bylan's going to be underneath here to start the second 203 ride time for Smucker. Smucker covers. Bylan rolls. Smucker checks follows. Gets that right wrist deep waist on the left. And now catching his foot. Bylan's trying to swim through. Smucker not hearing any of this. But Bylan trying to reach through. And great ride right now by Riley Smucker. The entire match has just put a ton of heat on Cade Bylan. And the ride time climbing up to 240. Still climbing. He's going to have this ride time locked up here real soon. Who comes in, Bylan rolls, catches him. We could be looking for a fall. Oh my goodness, he catches, he catches Smucker on the edge. And looking for a fall is Cade Bylan. Smucker's in some trouble. He's looking for a fall and he's off the mat. Whoa, six point move, Cade Bylan. Wow, holy smokes. And one, seven two, Cade Bylan with the roll. Smucker has ride time almost locked up, though. 
Chris Mucker, you just got to chop wood here. It's effectively 6-3. It's effectively, like I said, 6-3 with the riding time. He had a massive amount of riding time. Smucker was playing with fire. What was he doing? 40 seconds left. All he's got to do is continue to ride one-on-ones, float side to side, and had a punishing ride going. Now, Byland putting a punishing ride on him. And what this will do is this will not assure the ride time completely. He's gonna get it, sure. But now Bylin got a 6-2 lead, effectively 6-3 with the riding time. And we're gonna go to criteria if Bylin can hang on here. Smucker was smashing him. It wasn't close. Okay, Bylin, rabbit out of a hat. Choice. Neutral for Smucker. And I don't even know what's going on here, but like I said, and what the Cleveland State coaches are saying, two takedowns, chop wood. It's effectively seven, it's seven two now, because it was a, it was actually a seven point move because then he fleet, fled the mat for one. So, which is way better than getting pinned and your team losing the duel. So, Bylan, driver's seat, takes a shot, gives up a take, no he does not. Nothing yet. Two, Smucker, 7-4. It's effectively 7-5 though, because he's got the ride time. I don't know what, I have no idea what this guy's doing. I have no clue what he is doing. Kylan has got him, he's just got to reach for his head, and that'll ice it. I don't know what he was doing. Riley Smucker just lost his mind. And he's down 9-4. It is 9-5 because the ride time is, well, not if he lays there. He is laying there. One time left. And Cade Bylan rabbit out of a hat. Let's see if he can pull some near falls out of a hat here. Or some stalls or something because Smucker is laying on the mat. And, and there's the stall. And Kate's gonna erase the ride time here. So if he can get some near falls, they would do it. But I mean, he could give up a six the other way too, though, going for it. So got to be careful here. And we're gonna go to and Smucker. I don't know what he's doing. There's another stall in one. Oh my goodness! A two-point near fall gives him a major encounter. Would win the duel. And this is going to go down to like match points, and I think you're going to see CSU win on criteria here. So Smucker got to stay in bounds, and oh, he almost had some near fall there. Wow, 14 seconds to try and get near fall. Bylan is going to erase the ride time here, and we're going to count the criteria up. And I guess you're, I think you're going to see CSU win here. So Smucker. If he could just get one. Oh, wow, Smucker looking for a reversal. And now Bylan gives up two and one. That might be the difference in the boat. Wow. And there it is. 10-7 win for Cade Bylan. Come from behind. Gets throttled for four minutes and pulls a rabbit out of the hat on the edge and could have maybe had a fall, but he didn't. And we're 16-16, so I think it's going to be CSU by criteria, but we're going to count them up. So here we go. 